Howdy, boys and girls. Welcome to Adventures with Elliot. I want to just do a quick uh, kind of intro, introduce you to Elliot. Elliot uh, is, is actually a newer tech, but he's uh, progressed really quickly, uh, taken a lot of training, taken a lot of uh, personal effort to become uh, one of our lead technicians uh, over the last several years. He is a BERT disciple, so you're going to notice a lot of uh, commonality between Adventures with Elliot and BERT Life. We're still going to try to get BERT to do some more BERT Life videos, but he's been on hiatus for a while. Um, and he just couldn't handle the spotlight, you know, people coming up to him, uh, stopping him at McDonald's. It was a problem. Uh, but two things I want to mention here. Okay, so uh, a lot of people will ask when, when I have people like Elliot do these videos because you, you'll point out things like one of the things he's not wearing safety glasses. So I've given him that feedback. You need to be wearing your safety glasses, and in future videos, he will have them on. But it's a reality, right, that sometimes people do forget things. And uh, continuous improvement, always learning, always growing. Another thing that you'll notice in this video is it's a Lennox condenser, and it's a two-layer uh, two condenser, a two-row condenser. And so to get that really clean, you would have to split it. Now, on a regular residential AC maintenance, when it's not that dirty, that's just not practical. So the way he cleaned it is the way that we would have him clean it. Uh, if you were showing signs of high head pressure, um, high compression ratio, then you may need to split that coil. And that means you have to take the entire you know, outer off. You have to kind of get it separated and try to clean in between, which can be really, really difficult. So I just wanted to mention that. That was something that he didn't mention. Um, other than that, really proud of his video. It's his first one. So congrats, Elliot. I'm looking forward to many more adventures with Elliot. Hope you enjoy. Oh, hello there. Hi, I am Elliot, apparently. Uh, welcome to Adventures with Elliot. Um, for those of you who remember Bert Life, uh, he has ascended to a higher plane and can't make videos anymore. And of course, my Lord Orr is busy with his podcast. Check out HVAC School Podcast. Highly recommend. Sometimes incomprehensible, but a lot of awesome stuff. Um, today we're going to be doing some basic maintenance. We have a Lennox system out back, and I'll be showing some of the things that we do to the outside unit. I can't film on the inside because I haven't asked permission from the homeowner. But hopefully we'll get some exciting footage for you, and I hope you all enjoy. So the first thing we're going to do is check the capacitor. But before we do that, we need to make sure we hit our disconnect because who wants to play with 240 in the rain? Conveniently labeled AC breaker. Off. All right, now we're going to take the panel off. Hashtag Milwaukee. Meter. Hashtag Veto Pack. Hashtag Field Piece. We're fishing for sponsors. All right, first and foremost, safety check. So, meter on volts AC. We're gonna check each leg to ground to make sure that there is no voltage because remember, you are ground. So, zero volts there, zero volts to ground there, and for funsies we'll check the capacitor, zero volts there. So I should be able to touch. Yay! Take the leads off. So now uh, we're gonna put our meter on microfarads, which may look different on different meters. Sometimes it has the funky little U and an F, but on this one it's MFD. So we're reading microfarads, make sure we got the right scale there. And we're gonna check first the compressor side, which is the Herm side. And we are reading 44.8, and we are rated for 45, so that is excellent. And then we'll check the fan side of the capacitor. Checking from common to fan, I'm reading 4.99, and we are rated for five. So this capacitor, is good. So the best way to clean our condenser coil is going to be to do it from the inside out and we need to vacuum the thing out. On our hashtag Lennox condenser, we do have to take the top off of this thing to get good access because to flip it and hold it is kind of awkward. So I've already disconnected the fan wires from the board and from the contactor and I already had it off the capacitor. So now let's take the top off.
Now that we've got the top off, we're going to vacuum all the leaves and dirt out of the bottom of the condenser before we spray down the coil. So, hashtag rigid vacuum. Hashtag unknown brand hose. You want a good stream, but you don't want it to be so forceful that you bend the fin. And if you look on the other side, you can see how the water is moving through the coil like that, getting all the dust and dirt off of it. That means that the coil is not clogged. So we will go all the way around. And make sure we hit each side. corners here, all the leaves and stuff that I couldn't get with my vacuum, and I'll do another sweep of that. I'm also going to hit the pad itself. Different units have the drainage channels in different places, so you want to make sure that you spray down the pad to make it look pretty, but also to clear out the drainage channels underneath the unit. One more sweep with my vacuum. Answer. I'm going to leave my trusty apprentice to reassemble that real quick and I'm going to go inside and start playing with the air handler but lastly we'll show you every tech's favorite chore cleaning the drain. What you missed while I was inside was me changing the filter, inspecting the blower wheel and the coil to make sure that they were clean, testing the safety overflow switch and making sure that it was functional and just doing a general visual inspection of the unit making sure there wasn't a whole lot of growth on the sides and that the plenum was sealed and yeah it's actually really in good shape. And now it's time to clean the drain. So I have my awesome adapter that fits onto my vacuum. We will find the exit for the drain. Insert that like so, make sure we got a good seal. And turn it on, and I'm gonna go inside and flush lots of water down it, out the drain pan after I scrub it, and down the clean out tube until we get clear water out of this thing, okay? All right, that drain is nice and clean. I'm going to wire this back up. Always remember after checking your capacitor to put the wires back on it. So we got our compressor, we got our fan. I took these guys off of here. And off the contactor. Nice and snug. Let's put the panel back on real quick. Alright, and now we're going to put the probes on so we can test this sucker out. Ooh, hashtag Klein. Did I say hashtag Klein? Hashtag Appion. Core depressors are awesome, especially on the liquid side. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go fill the trap on the drain and button up the indoor unit, and then we will turn this thing on and test it out, all right? All right, I've got this thing put back together. Our trap is primed, our probes are on. We are ready to run it. I've used Movie Magic to bypass the time delay on the thermostat and on the Linux board. So as soon as I hit that breaker, it should kick on. The last thing you wanna do on a maintenance is run the unit. Always leave the unit either running or the thermostat satisfied. If you leave a disconnect off and I come behind you for a callback, I will beat you as far as HR will allow me to. Your safety word is bad, TXV. It's alive! Don't freak out if your suction pressure drops immediately because it's all wet. It will come back up. See, yeah, that's a wet coil, not a low charge.
and then it bounces back. Watch as your suction saturation increases, your superheat will go down, and your subcool will come up as the system runs. Come on, baby, don't make me a liar. Thank you for joining me, Elliot, on Adventures with Elliot, where every call is an adventure. I'm going to go do a leak detection because these pressures are not coming up, but we'll catch you next time, and hopefully things will go according to plan, even though they never do. Anyway, have fun out there, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex. Bytex.